Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Michaela. So for today's video, I will be setting up my bullet journal for 2022. Let's just jump right into this video. So for this year's bullet journal, I went ahead and grabbed this Primrosia woodland themed journal. I honestly grabbed this one because I love the color and it's also a watercolor journal and I went with watercolor because I really want to use more watercolor in my art this year. So I figured this would be a good way to kind of dive into that. It does come with a dotted grid and it is 160 pages. It also has the strap to close it, it has a pin holder, and it also has this pocket here in the back. I believe the pages are 160 GSM, which is grams per square meter. The cover feels really nice and I really like the gold detail here. It's kind of like a thick luxe cover. I feel like it'll hold together pretty, pretty well. So starting out with the title page, I'm going to take these pearlescent watercolors here and just make like some circle design in the background. I was actually inspired by this picture on Pinterest. I'll be sure to link it down below. And I just love the colors that she used and the design was just really straightforward and simple. So that's what I wanted to do here for my title page. Next up, I'm going to just grab this brown color here and I just wanted to break it up slightly so it's not like all shiny and pearlescent. Okay, so for the actual script, I am going to use my Sumi ink and this Hunt 101 nib. So after you see this, what I wrote probably won't make much sense, but I actually skipped a page in the very front of the journal because I kind of have an idea. If not, I might just go back in and change this title page if I can't pull off that first idea. But stay tuned. I will be sure to show you exactly what I mean by that. Okay, so getting started on the next page, I'm actually going to skip the page on the left and start on the page on the right, only because after I sketched out the design, I wasn't really feeling it anymore, so I ended up coming back to it later. So for this page, I picked up these Primrosia watercolor marker pens. I've never really used these before, um, so I wanted to try them out. I picked them up in these pastel colors, and I went ahead and just grabbed these four colors here. So these brush pens are dual tip. They have the brush pen on one end and then they have the fine tip on the other end. So I started laying the color down. What you're supposed to do is draw with the markers um, first on the paper and then add the water to the marker on the paper and it's supposed to blend out. But if I'm being honest, I didn't really like the way these were blending. They weren't really blending at all. And it was kind of funny and weird because I definitely tested these out on a thicker watercolor paper and they blended pretty well so i don't really understand why they're not blending on this watercolor paper especially since it's the same brand it was kind of weird so i don't know At this point, I pretty much was giving up on these pens with this paper and I went ahead into my thicker watercolor sketchbook and just cut out a piece of paper that was the same size as this page. And I remade this page and to be honest, I was a little bit, um, <laughs> I was a little sad that I did this because um, I'm trying to like embrace the imperfections in this bullet journal and just in life in general. I feel like that's what holds me back a lot is that I want to be perfect. I want things to be perfect. And so I was a little like, should I do this? Should I not do this? However, this page is so important to me because it's literally like the theme of my year. And so I knew that I was going to be looking at this page very often and just reminding myself what the theme was for this year. So I knew that I had to had to redo this one. So here I'm taking the fine tip of the pen and I'm basically just redrawing all of the circles to kind of define them a little bit more. 
And then I'm going to take my micron to write in the text. So my word for this year is purpose and the theme of the year is just finding my purpose. I have this diagram here and these four circles, that which you love, that which you are good at, that which the world needs, and that which you get paid for. These are all the things that I feel like when they come together, I feel like I will truly be living in my purpose. So a few of you may have seen this diagram before, but instead of the word purpose in the middle, it had the word akigai and myself included to be honest i actually drew this in my very first bullet journal with the word akigai in the middle however after doing some research i realized that akigai is not necessarily the correct word that goes in the middle of this diagram apparently this is supposed to be the purpose diagram and somewhere down the road it got redesigned with the word akigai inside of it instead so akigai is actually a japanese concept meaning the reason for being and obviously that kind of would make sense when you look at all of these things here however um again i did a little bit of research and I kind of went more deeper into that meaning this diagram is the most simplest way I can kind of like show what I really want to encompass in this new year um <laughs> but it's it's way way deeper than that and just to talk a little bit about aikigai and how it ties in with this diagram for me personally it's more than just um something that i'm good at something that i love to do something that makes me money and something that the world needs it's more so that like um, yeah, something that I'm good at, but Aikigai focuses more on the growth rather than the mastery of things, um, that which the world needs. It would be great to produce something that the world needs. However, Aikigai is kind of more about um, connecting and helping with the people who give meaning to your life. And then, of course, like making money. I feel like wealth can come from and be a byproduct of your Aikigai, um, but it would not be like the sole focus of Aikigai. <laughs> and then lastly, of course, something that you love to do. It can be your Aikigai, but you also have to find like meaning and purpose in your daily living, regardless of like what constraints you may have. I really want to go into this new year with aikigai in mind a reason for basically being a reason for waking up in the morning and also just finding my purpose in general So here I am making my future log and I did three months on each page. So there's two spreads for the year. And if I'm being honest, I am not a fan of how this came out. I don't know if it's me, if it's these, this paper, these paints, I don't know. But these watercolors are just not working out for me. I had a completely different idea for this page, but I really wanted to embrace the watercolors. I'm just gonna fast forward through all of this so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me number these tiny little months on each one of these squares and if I'm being honest it never fails every single year I make a mistake on <laughs> on my future log whenever I'm numbering in the months it never fails and this I made tons of mistakes and so that earlier statement about embracing imperfections oh yeah when I got to this page it was like you are going to embrace these imperfections because I messed up a lot <laughs> So this next page is my to-do list page and the idea that I had for this was to stamp the page with like coffee cup stains basically. You know people usually equate coffee with like productivity or just getting things done. Even though I don't really drink coffee and I don't really like coffee, I still wanted to have like some form of imagery that screams productivity and this is what I thought when I thought about productivity. <laughs> So to go along with the coffee cup spread, I am going to be using this beautiful brown walnut ink. It's so nice. And it's really funny because I keep it in our ring box that held our wedding rings um, for our wedding. And I only keep it in here because I have like this moss and it keeps it stable. I don't know. I'm so nervous that th this thing is just going to spill. The ink is just like really thin and I feel like it spills kind of easily. So... I just wanted to protect it at all costs so that's why i keep it in here and i'm also just going to be using my hunt 101 nib
So the next two spreads are my YouTube pages and I basically wanted to keep these super clean and simple because I do most of my planning and tracking digitally for my YouTube channel. However, I did want to have some pages in my bullet journal for YouTube. So on the left hand side, I have my goals for my channel and then the action plans of how I want to accomplish my goals. And then on the right hand side, I have my channel analytics and this is just kind of like a brief overview of the last six months and I am going to start with December just so I can compare January to December and see how that is. Um, I will probably end up having to make another one of these pages later on since I'm only tracking these six months. Um, but yeah, this is the spread here. So the next page is my YouTube upload schedule and I just have three months here and it looks very similar to my future log but essentially I'm just going to have the dates that I'm going to be shooting the video, editing the video, and posting the video and then that way I have it all in one place and I can keep track of that here. And then on the right hand page I just have my YouTube notes section and essentially this is literally where I will be writing down all of the things that I learn from YouTube, whether that's through my own analytics or through videos that I watch or research that I do that can help me um, grow as a YouTuber or just get better at anything such as editing and all of the things that have to do with YouTube. The next page is very simple. It's my work hours page. I basically just want to start tracking how many hours a day that I spend working on YouTube. And so I'm only going to track the first month, but I left the right side blank because just in case I want to add another month. But yeah, this is what this looks like here. So the next spread that I have is the books that I want to read in 2022 and I have these cute little envelopes and as soon as I saw them I knew exactly what idea I wanted to do for this this year. So I wanted to go with like a library card theme. So I'm also just going to use some like book pages and scrap paper that I had left over from some projects from our wedding. I'm going to do kind of like a scrapbook theme for this spread. I don't usually do this kind of thing. I usually stick to mostly pens, markers, pencils, things like that. I'm I'm really 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 excited for this spread. So for the font, I'm using this Speedball C3 nib and I was so nervous to use this because I've never used this nib before and I've never done this style of lettering before. So it was a little bit nerve wracking, but I just felt like it went with the vibe of the page. And so I really wanted to try it out and it didn't turn out that bad. I just need to practice a little bit more. <laughs> So for the actual library checkout card, I just cut this little square out of watercolor paper and I'm just adding brown to it to kind of make it look a little bit like more older, vintage looking. And then I just drew lines on it for the titles and the date that I read them. 
So for the next page, this is my book bingo page. I think I'm going to set a goal to try to read 52 books this year with just one book a week. <laughs> and so I was hoping that this bingo game would like make it a little bit more fun and help me pick out things that I probably normally wouldn't really, really read. So I have a few things on here like historical fiction, read a classic, read a nonfiction book, reread a book, read a book with uh, a color in the title, judge a book by its cover. You see it, you like it, don't look at the description, just pick it up and read it. So I think it'll be fun to use this bingo card. So this next spread is kind of like a substitute for my movies to watch in 2022. Um, before COVID, Alex and I used to go to the movies all the time and I would record whatever movies we saw for the year in my bullet journal. And we haven't really been going to the movies lately, so I wanted to do it a little bit differently this year. Thinking back on like classic movies that I've never really seen, I realized there's some, there's some bangers out there that I have not seen yet. So what I ended up doing this year is I'm going to pick like iconic actors and actresses and just pretty much like watch their movies and I'm going to record that all here on this page. So for this, this spread, I just have Denzel Washington, Tom Hanks, Meryl Streep, and Robin Williams. I'll probably add another spread later on, but this, these are the four that I'm going to go with right now. So I'm just going to take this black piece of paper here, cut a bunch of like half holes in them and then cut them out and tape them to the sides of the page. I think it looks cute. It makes it look like a little like film reel. I don't know. I thought this was a cute idea. definitely forgot to push record on that one page but it's just a 2022 playlist and these are going to be all the songs that I was just filling in 2022 and then of course on this page it is my notes page I have this in every single bullet journal it's just the place where I can put all of the things that are in my head anything that I want anything that I hear it goes right here on this page for the next page, this is a place that I'm going to track all of the classes that I plan to take in 2022. I'm taking American Sign Language classes and calligraphy classes and stationary classes, just a ton of classes. So I have to have a place to just track where, you know, when these classes are and if there's homework due, things like that. So going back to my goals page, the one I sketched out earlier, I just wasn't feeling it before. And it wasn't until I did my book spread that I came up with this idea. I also have these little um, envelopes in black. And so I wanted to do something similar where I could have pieces of paper inside the envelope and um, write multiple goals down. That way I won't be limited to just one page because I also wanted to write down the goals and then like action plans of how to accomplish them, why I want to accomplish them, things like that. So that's what I'm doing here on this page. I also wanted this page to have like a growth theme because, you know, we're just trying to grow and glow in 2022. So that's why I did like this black and white kind of like plant or vine thing growing up from the envelope. And yeah, I actually really like how this came out and I'm really excited to use this page. I kept it simple with black and white because the page on the opposite side, the purpose page, um, was kind of colorful. So I wanted to just like keep it simple <laughs> with the black and white. And I just, yeah, I can't wait to start using this one. Lastly, going back to the first page, I wasn't actually going to do anything on this page because it was a little bit weird. It, it was shorter than the other pages and I just, I don't know. Anyway, I decided to write 2020, or no, I decided to write 20 on this page so that when you opened it, it said 22 on the inside. So like 2022, you get it, you know what I mean? Anyway, <laughs> I basically just kept this one super simple again with just black.
And here is the final of the pages that we set up today. I do plan to set up some self-care pages too and some financial money pages because, you know, we got to get ourselves right. We got to get our money right in the new year. So I am going to have those videos up soon. I will see you in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.